Hi there, Sadie Nardini here. I'm the founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga and the spokesperson for the Haynes Hosiery line of leg massaging awesomeness they call Pure Bliss. So together we're here to bring you an amazing workout that I've put together based on uber anatomy knowledge that you can use to flow, to de-stress, to detox, to anti-age, to get really strong, super lean, and flexible faster. So for every yoga pose you do, or let's say for every one minute you spend doing this next sequence that I'm going to give you, you get two minutes worth of benefits or two poses worth of benefits because you're using a deep inner body line of muscles and that's going to spark your metabolism, your muscles, and your energy so much more. So I know we're all busy. I live in Brooklyn, one of my favorite brunch places in the world, Jolie Cantina. And here in the city and pretty much everywhere, we all get busy, we all get stressed. So use this practice whenever you can. I recommend two to three times a week for maintenance um, to really keep yourself on an even keel and uh, loving your life even more. All right, I hope you enjoy. Namaste. Come into a comfortable seat, either on a couch, a chair, could be in your office, or anywhere you like. We're going to begin with a belly breath. Now this is going to energize you, detoxify you, anti-age you, and spark your metabolism. It's an awesome breath. But we want to not breathe up into the chest so much, so instead start to breathe through the nose slowly, so the sinuses are very filtering. We want to inhale down into the belly, so take a deep inhale through the nose, expand and relax the belly. So less stress, soft belly, equals less body fat storage and less disease too, so tons of benefits. On the exhale, squeeze and lift from the pelvic floor muscles, those are the bathroom muscles, and the low belly. Just really engage and energize all those muscles down there, help to press all the breath out completely. Inhale down through the nose, soften and expand the belly. Exhale, hug and lift. This is going to give you a lot of tone and a lot more muscular action in every pose. So keep this breath going. Inhale again, down, warm and widen that belly. Exhale, hug and lift. Good. Keep that happening. Here in the chair, come into cactus arms. Cross your right elbow over the left. If you can, wrap your forearms maybe even the hands, okay? Take a deep breath in, arch the spine. Exhale, hug and curl. Inhale, this is a great stretch and energizer for the whole body, but with that pelvic and belly exhale activating, you get a really deep inner massage, good for all your organs. Inhale here, and exhale. Good, inhale, really breathe deep. It's gonna give you that glow. Exhale, inhale, Open it up, stretch out the arms. On your exhale, bend in, left elbow over right. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Inhale here, arch, and exhale. Already toning the core and getting moving. Exhale. Now the last time I want you to inhale here, exhale, pause, and really breathe in between the shoulder blades. Now move the breath just for now up to the high chest and open up shoulder and neck tension. Take a deep breath in and exhale, relax your head and neck a little bit more. Again, inhale, so the shoulder blades widen. Should feel nice. And exhale, relax it down. Slowly unwind yourself, give yourself a nice stretch up. Good, plant your hands on the chair. Now we're gonna do a little core work here on the chair before we move to lower body. Inhale. On your exhale, lean back, sit down into your sit bones and lift those knees up, but with a really super straight spine. If you curl back, it's bad for your back. So lengthen up and you're gonna to tone that deep core. Inhale, almost touch the chair with the legs. Exhale, draw them back up. Good, inhale. Doesn't take much to gain a whole lot of core strength here. Exhale. But you wanna press your seat down and lengthen way up through the crown of your head. Inhale and exhale. Just for fun, take a deep breath, move those knees to the right, and then to the left, getting the side waist. So really whittling the middle here. Exhale, maybe a little faster. Exhale, keep the spine straight. One more time each side, and exhale, awesome. Come to center, Woo, hold it, hold it, hold it. Lengthen your spine even more, and feel that belly bonfire. That's what you want. All right, and slowly, oh, get out of that. We're gonna come off the chair, but just lift your bum up off the chair a few inches. 
press the feet and the knees together and squeeze. This is called fitting lead chair pose. All right, lift up a little bit higher. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. And on your exhale, palms together, left elbow to right knee. So take a nice spin there, just touch. Inhale, sit down a little lower without touching the chair and spin the other way. Twist the fire, extremely detoxifying for the inner body, which gives you all that good stuff that you can see on the outer body. Like fierceness and fabulousness. Exhale and spin. Inhale here and exhale. Good. Chair pose. Sit as low as you possibly can. Squeeze the knees. Tone those inner thighs and lower body. Deep breath. Now make your fists and place those fists into opposite elbows. Inhale. Widen the legs a little bit. And on your exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. So the fists are going to trigger your body to relax that pesky, stressy <laughs> low back and upper back. So allow yourself to just give over to that. Take a deep inhale, exhale full. Good, inhale here. Now on your exhale, you can widen the feet a little bit more and turn the toes open if you want to. And we're just gonna come here and breathe. All right, so I want you to inhale down to the belly, hang on with the hands if you want, and exhale, squeeze from the pelvic muscles, come up a little higher. Now, I want you to make Charlie's Angels Mudra, but you can hang on if you need to. So we'll take a deep breath in, go down deeper. Exhale, hug and lift. Good, inhale down. Exhale up, but squeeze the pelvic muscles. Big muscle group we hardly ever get to, and we don't want that bill coming due. So take a deep breath in. Exhale. Should be generating some heat right now, and that's great. Exhale. One more time, and exhale, and once more for good luck. Oh, and exhale, good. Take a deep breath in here, and on your exhale, plant those forearms on the thighs and fold forward. Try to stretch your legs out a little bit, and maybe slide your hands down to the shins, stretch out the back of the legs, and breathe. Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale. Press your feet down, relax the hands, take two or three breaths. Come back to that belly breath and that pelvic Exhale as you slowly unwind yourself, reach all the way up. And then I want you to widen your feet a lot more. So if you opened your hands, they might be right underneath your hands. Turn the toes open and bend even deeper. We're gonna spend a lot of time here in this temple pose. So if it's too much, then stand up a little bit more, it's fine. But try to maintain, because we're gonna tone a lot of lower body in a lot of little time. So opening those toes, open the knees. Press the hands onto your knees and open the knees a little bit wider. Take a deep breath in, arch the spine like you did before. Exhale, squeeze up from the pelvic muscles and higher as you pour the breath out. So again, that inner body rejuvenating massage. Inhale. This is gonna dissolve so much stress and tension in the body. You're gonna feel like a new person when you're done with this. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that two more times, inhale and exhale last time deep breath and exhale try to stay low in the pose inhale reach your arms up this will tone the solar plexus area and the abs so as you exhale bring the fists of fire down and say ha okay if your co-workers think you're crazy then too bad because you're getting the benefits and they're not or they can join in take a deep breath and reach up exhale ha a little faster ha with the breath ha Do it three more times. Ha! Ha! Good. Inhale, reach all the way up. Now on the exhale, interlace your hands behind you. So interlace your fingers. Try to get those palms together if you can. Elbows can be bent or straight. Turn the toes forward. Inhale, stand up. Should feel nice. And on the exhale, bend your knees and fold yourself forward. Now stretch one leg longer and bend the other leg. So these lunges are really going to help Continue to work the low body, but stretch it out as well. A nice resist and release. And you want the inner thighs to be open because they directly connect through your body to the low back. So they're a surprising source of low back pain. Now we're gonna release some of that possible tension. Come back to center, bend the knees. Release the hands, forearms onto the thighs. Turn the heels in and the toes out and begin to roll yourself back up. Put one forearm on one leg and circle that other arm up. Take a deep stretch over the ear, really reach. Tone the belly in and up and open the chest. 
Good. Circle the arm down. Place it on the other hand. Reach the other arm up. Toning as we stretch. Good for you. Multitasker's dream. Take a deep breath here. And exhale, other side. Try to maintain, even if this is starting to feel intense, breathe deeper and see how long you can stay low. Good. Other side. Forearm down. Other arm reaches. That's it. Slowly come back to center. Place the hands down. Come up a little bit higher. Turn the toes forward. Inhale here. This time, fold yourself all the way down. Bent legs. Lift your belly and fold. I want you to straighten your legs as much as you can comfortably, but still keep that low back curving downward. So if you need to bend your knees to keep the spine long, do it. But we straighten out in time, gaining that flexibility. All right, bend the knees, inhale, exhale, roll yourself back up. Last move here, turn one foot forward and lift the other heel. Inhale, reach up. If you feel like you're walking a tightrope, then widen your feet a little bit. Exhale, bend the back knee, fists of fire. Inhale, lengthen up. Big toner for the low body and the glutes and your balance. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Inhale, come to center, turn the other way. Other foot forward, back heel lifts. Take your time there. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, bend down. Now come back to that belly breath we started with. Exhale, and exhale. So inhale to the belly, and exhale from that pelvis and belly. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Widen the feet as far as you can. Interlace the hands one more time. Inhale, open wide, this time with straight arms and straightish legs. Fold forward. And if you like those lunges, do them one more time and pause at any moment that you need a stretch there or you feel something's happening. Try breathing to the belly, try breathing to the chest. See if you can open up some of that shoulder tension as you fold even deeper in time. And when you're done, release the hands, roll yourself super slowly on up. <sighs> Maintain that nice slow deep breath for a couple minutes more as you start to slow down, calm and cool it down and get back to work, only now I knew and improved you. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.